Hi friends, wish you a very very happy new year. I hope 2020 is going to be really special and musical for all of you. So this is going to be my first video of this year and I have taken up a topic which so many of you have been asking me about, how to sing high notes easily. So today I'm going to share some simple but effective insights on this subject. Let's take a look. Now usually when I ask students to sing something in the lower range, for example, So let's take a snapshot of this and keep it aside. Now when I tell the student to sing the same notes in the higher octave, usually what I see is something like this. Now let's compare these two snapshots. When I was singing the lower notes, first of all my breathing pattern was extremely normal and very relaxed. I took a nice deep breath, I engaged my abdomen muscles, there was no tension in the upper body. As you can see my shoulders are completely relaxed, right? But when I sang the high notes, suddenly I became like this. The complete tension is in the upper body. The shoulders have lifted up and become so stiff. So when there is so much tension here, it becomes very, very difficult for us to sing. Now let's compare our lower jaw. If you notice, when I sang the lower notes, my jaw was very relaxed. It was dropping freely and I could not feel any tension in this region. But then when I started singing the higher notes, what happened? I made it really tight like ah. So I can literally feel the pain and tension in this region and that makes it very very difficult to sing. Similarly my cheeks and my forehead which were very relaxed during the low notes have suddenly become you know all frowny and very very tense in the high notes. And finally notice the volume at which I sang. When I sang the lower notes I used a very medium very comfortable and pleasant volume. And when I sang the high notes, suddenly I started shouting, right? It was not pleasant at all. So what do you think went wrong? Why did I suddenly become this new person when I had to sing high notes? I was such a happy and calm and relaxed person, right? How did I suddenly become this tight and tensed person when I had to sing high notes? You know, somewhere deep down in our mind, we think of high notes as something superior like a VIP. You know what is the problem with a VIP is that we can never be ourselves around them. We are always anxious and tense and we do unwanted things which actually make things worse and uh, we don't even realize that we are doing them. So the problem is not with the high note. The problem is with the way we perceive it as something very superior and something very difficult. We think we have to you know, make an effort to reach it. What if for a minute we forget that this is the high note or a low note? Let's think of it as the same set of notes but in a different location. Okay, so whether I'm singing it here in the lower octave like or or so no matter where I sing it, the outer snapshot need not change. Now on the inside, it is a completely different ball game, right? The lower notes and higher notes are in no way similar. The vibrations are different, the resonance is different. But all that is happening inside. And it is relatively more difficult to visualize what goes on inside. But we can definitely correct what happens outside, right? Because you can stand in front of the mirror, you can see your posture, you can check whether you feel that tension here or whether you are uh, frowning and creating tension on your face and so on. So those things are easier to see and feel and hence easier to correct. And if we just correct these external parameters, that itself will make it much easier for the internal team to do its job. So we don't need to go out of our way and push ourselves to hit a note. It also helps to do certain warm-up exercises to prepare the voice for the entire range of notes. So if you've seen my voice culture course on the Vox Guru app, you'll find about 20 such exercises that will help you better understand and it will prepare your voice for 
no matter which range of notes you are singing. So do check out that course on the Vox Guru app if you want to go more in detail. And let me know your experience in the comment section below.